Hello girlfriends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Jody, and it's great to have you join me today. Today we are doing a product review. It is part of my affordable drugstore series and I will say I had a little bit different expectations for what products I would be bringing you but this is how it works out. I'll explain a little bit more here as we go. The brand that we are going to be reviewing is Lotta Body and I originally thought that I would do a couple stylers with this when I was first looking at these, they aren't in my local Walmart personally, but there was a couple neighboring towns that they were at. And so I kind of made plans earlier on in the year. I'm like, okay, I want to feature such and such products. And then when it came time to buying them, there was really only one product available. And so I was disappointed, definitely disappointed, but I feel like this is still a brand that I want to bring you. So today we'll be trying a single styler with the Lotta Body Wrap Me Foaming Mousse. This is the Lotta Body Wrap Me Foaming Mousse. Enriched with coconut and shea oils, this formula deeply penetrates and hydrates the hair, leaving the hair soft and nourished with a brilliant shine. This fast drying foam mousse leaves wraps soft and full of body. It can be used for a wash and wear styles, defining curls and taming frizz. Some of the key benefits that's supposed to do is to is to define your curls, give hold to twist outs, moisturize dry, brittle hair, add body and shine, long lasting control, and non flaking. The directions say that for curls, you can apply liberally to towel dried hair from roots to ends for definition, and allow hair to air dry or diffuse. And then for wraps, you can wrap, mold, or set your hair in style as usual, to keep out of reach of children. I skipped ahead that I was a sectioning my hair, so. We are just going to begin the brush styling part of this. This foam has a bit of a strong scent to it in my opinion. I don't smell it now actually, now that it is applied, but when I was first pumping it out and you know working it through my hair and brushing it through, it smells like cough drops to me. Um, does anyone else get that? Has anyone else actually used this product before? I know Lotta Body is a very affordable product or brand. I don't really see much talk about it in newer videos. I'm just curious, does anybody, any of my viewers uh, use Lotta Body? And if you do, what products? Let us know by doing it like a little blue heart emoji because I guess this product's kind of blue. So let us know, like I said, by doing a little blue heart emoji if you use Lotta Body and um, what products you may be using. Now I am a little nervous with using just a foam. I have said in the past how I don't really think foam one and dones are for me, um, especially in the colder weather, but we're getting into some more, you know, warmer weather where I'm at. So I'm hoping maybe it stands a better chance. This does brag about or claim that it is very moisturizing. So we will see it. Cause I did debate about putting in, I lost my hair, where is it? I did debate about putting in like a light leave-in underneath, a little spray leave-in, but I decided, you know what, let's just see what this foam gives. You know what, I did like a horrible job of sectioning my hair, so we are going to try and fix this. Or I did, not a horrible job of sectioning my hair, but a horrible job of clipping it up. It gets harder as it gets longer. But as I was saying, as I was applying this foam, it has the scent that I'm not really fond of. Like I said, it smells like cough drops, but it has a very slippery texture to it. It kind of reminds me of the Trey Lux in just how it feels like when it's applying. It almost has like a serum feel underneath of it or to it. Are there any of you who watch me that enjoy doing mousse or foams just as like a single styler? I'm not sure based on a previous video that I'd done about my favorite single stylers, I'm not sure how many of my viewers actually like to do single stylers or can get away with it. But let me know if you enjoy using a foam as a single styler. Most reviews that I see for this, I feel like are on textures that like to do, what are those called? Those are like flexi rod sets. And I had thought about doing that at one point in time, but I decided, I, I guess I just kind of pushed it off to the side because I thought, well, there's probably not going to be much interest in that. 
but let me know if you guys are interested in seeing like a flexi rod set sometime. I've never worked with those before, but I'm kind of curious as to what it would look like on my hair. We had a girl when I was in high school who I am, at the time I thought she just used a curling iron, but looking back at it now, I'm pretty sure she used a, a flexi rod set to get the curls that she got. You know what, I'm gonna spray this down a little bit more. I forgot to re-wet it before I brushed it. I have a feeling my hair is going to dry pretty darn fast with just this foam in it. All right, I have just finished applying more water to this section and I think I'm just going to kind of speed through this and I will meet you back when I am done. All right, I can feel a fair amount of like the, I almost feel like as I'm scrunching this, I feel a little bit of like a holding type quality to my hair that this product is giving me. But I think I might go in with another pump and a half maybe, just like upside down scrunching it in. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to re-wet my hair a little bit more because this is my moisturizer and this is my holding product and hopefully hopefully she turns out all right i went in with a pump and a half almost two pumps probably i'm just going to try to get this on what is the, currently the top and then what's currently the underside and then just scrunch that all throughout Can you hear the squish? Okay, so I currently have my hair up in a wet pop, two shower caps, one a cheap like plastic disposable one, and then my more reusable one. And I'm going to let this sit on for 10 to 15 minutes. If you're new here, I this is something I've been doing for I think a couple years now at this point. I just like the way it works with my curls, I feel like. I just feel like it gives maybe a little bit more time for the product to absorb into my hair. So after I diffuse, then I'll be back and I'll show you my final styled results. See you. Okay, girlfriends, I am back with my hair fully diffused and styled and this is my result. So let's get a closer look here. And on this side, Oh, let's show you the underside as well. And on this side. Okay, so my thoughts for this a lot of body wrap me up foaming mousse. I will say that I am pleasantly surprised. I've had issues before in the past where I've tried just to foam and it just, it didn't give me the moisture that I needed. And that may have been due to the season that I was trying it in and it may have been due to the foam that I chose to try it with. So this one actually this one actually did really good now it let me get the lid here on it all the way it's supposed to promise to you know define your curls which i think my curls are very defined throughout i have one area here where i try to separate a bigger curl clump and it kind of gets a little frizzy up in here but really not bad like my halo frizz is very minimal and i just otherwise throughout my hair i don't really feel like i have hardly any frizz to speak of. So I think it did a great job at defining my hair. I think it gives me decent volume and not like for being a foam, not like loads of volume. I've seen other products give me more, but this is not bad as far as the volume goes. And I feel like this gives me pretty decent shine, which is on its list of things that's supposed to do. Now, as far as the hold, there was a slight cast when I dried this, but in just in areas like the back, area of my hair the crown here I did not really get much of a cast as I was drying so I just don't know if I didn't get as much product back there I'm trying to break up a curl clump as I'm talking but I don't know if I didn't get as much product back there or if it's just 
how I was drying my hair. Anyways, I could feel the cast more on like the perimeters, like right around this area and on the ends. And then as I was drying it, the farther I got long in the drying process, the cast kind of broke up more. I still feel a little bit of a hold down there. I still feel like not really a crunch because I did like smooth down or scrunch out the crunch with an oil, but I, it just feels like a little bit of a hold. I don't know how to describe it. You know what? I need to show you the back of my hair though. Now I will check back tomorrow just to see how my curls are holding up. But another thing I want to touch on was the moisture of my hair. I do feel like it, it's well moisturized. It feels like a good balance. It's not too heavy for my hair and it's not too soft. So like I said, I'm going to check back on day two and just see how, you know, my hair is holding up. If the moisture is still there, if the shine's still there, definition and all that good stuff. So we'll check back tomorrow. All right, curl friends, it is day two using the Lotta Body Wrap Me Up Foamy Mousse. And so this, let me show you what my curls are looking like here. Give you a close up. They are very soft. I do feel like, I noticed like, Yesterday's video, I'm saying like a lot, but I do notice that in yesterday's video when I turned around and showed you what my hair looked like, that there was kind of some stringy bits on the bottom. I didn't realize that till like I was looking back at the footage. There I go, saying like a lot. But I didn't realize that till I was looking back at the footage. And so I do feel like my curls have kind of not shrunken up. Yeah, I guess shrunken up, curled up a little bit. That oftentimes happens for me day one. Sometimes the curls at the bottom are still a bit weighed down. And then by day two, they shrink up a little bit. Well, I started to notice at the end of yesterday that I feel like that was becoming a little bit more cohesive in the bottom. So I'll turn around and just show you what my hair is looking like. I actually haven't looked at the back of it myself personally this morning, but I'm hoping it is a little bit more cohesive back there, not that stringiness. So as far as the rest of how my hair is holding up, I do still feel like I have good definition throughout, like the undersides and the top has really maintained. I do feel like I still have a decent amount of shine. It's maybe not quite as shiny as yesterday, but not by a lot. And the frizz is, is pretty much on point for what day two would be. Like I don't have a lot of frizz in my opinion. So for a single styler, I'm actually pretty impressed with this. And by the way, I never mentioned the price yesterday, but I got this at Walmart for $4.25. So it is very affordable. I literally just styled my hair for $4.25. Like you can't beat that. If you're in the a person who likes single stylers, check this one out. I did, I did a video recently. I can't talk. Sorry. I did a video recently where I listed a bunch of single stylers that were some of my favorites. And had I known about this one at that time, I would have included this one in there. If you're not a person that likes single stylers for whatever reason, maybe they don't give you enough moisture. By the way, my moisture, I still feel like my hair feels very soft, very, very moisturized. Maybe not quite as much as yesterday, but it's, it's fine. Like it's going to get me through day three easily and probably into day four. But back to what I was saying about single stylers, if you don't like them for the fact that maybe they don't give you enough moisture or enough clumping, you know, look into using a leave-in or a cream underneath of this. If you still like a soft hold, this will give you a softer hold if you put a leave-in or a cream underneath of it, I'm pretty sure. Now, if you want more of a harder hold, which I think oftentimes is what my audience likes, they like a little bit more of a firmer hold on top of a foam or something like that. If you don't like a single styler, then by all means consider adding a gel on top of this. I think that's something that could easily work and that's what I was looking to do initially when I was first looking to purchase these products was to add a gel from this line but it didn't work out because my store wasn't carrying it or none of the local stores were carrying a lot of body gels anymore. They were like on clearance and this was the only one I could get my hands on. So it turned into a single styler that actually happened to work for me. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on Lada Body as an affordable drugstore brand. Have you tried it out? Are you interested in trying it out? And let me know what your thoughts are on my hair today. I am enjoying it. And I would recommend too, if you do want to use this as a single styler and you're still not sure about the hold, 
I personally always recommend a hairspray. That always seems to do the trick for me. But it, like I said, if you're not into hairsprays, you can try using a harder hold gel on top of it. So let me know what you think of Lotta Body as a single styler for a drugstore, affordable drugstore. This is affordable. Everything from this brand seemed to be pretty affordable when I look at that online. So like I said, let me know about this brand in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And until I see you again next week, have a great day. Bye.